This video is the CMS tutorial part two. The first CMS tutorial, which is found on our AVS TV page, showed how to connect the camera, set up a database, get those cameras recording. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a motion detection area, how to search, do a backup, view your cameras with Internet Explorer, and do a firmware upgrade. So to start, we're gonna start with the motion detection area. Right click the camera that you want to do the motion setup for and select remote setup and go down to motion. And we want to make sure that use motion setup and use CMS setting is checked and then click setting. Select the cell size you want to use and then choose a sensitivity and red is higher sensitivity, blue is less sensitivity or no and all the way to the left is no sensitivity and click and drag to make your motion detection area boxes. Make unlimited motion detection boxes with different levels of sensitivity uh, in your viewing area. Now I'm gonna just save and apply and click OK to confirm. Another feature is privacy zone. So I'm gonna click use privacy zone, click setting, make my privacy box and click apply, click OK to confirm and then save and close. And you'll see the changes made in the live view. And there we have it. We have our privacy zone set up along with our motion detection. The next function I want to show you is how to search with our CMS software. Go down to search and go to database and select the group that you want to see the schedule for. Once you have it highlighted, it should show up right above the calendar and then the days that have recorded material will be bold. And once you select the day, the hours that have recorded material will be in bold and and select the hours and then from there within that hour it'll show a graphical representation of when there's recorded material in minutes and you can uh, scroll up and down to see the different cameras and then you can choose the different screen divisions and of course you have your play play backwards pause next frame beginning etc next thing I want to show you is how to back up video from recording schedule once you're in the search screen and once you know the information that you want to back up, the start time, end time, and the cameras that you want to record, click backup. And once you have the backup screen, set the start time, the end time, and select the folder that you want to record in or the destination folder you want to record in. And then choose the format you want to record in. You can choose from AVI or INF. AVI is is a standard PC format and INF is a proprietary format which you would need to use the CMS software to play back. So I'm just going to choose AVI and then you can also see the size of the video just to make sure if you're going to be backing up to a CD to make sure it'll fit. And then you can also choose the different cameras that you want to record and different methods. So if you want to record the motion or continuous or sensor of any different camera you can choose that there and click backup so once it's backed up uh, you can find it so i'm going to go ahead and find it where i recorded it and i had chosen avi so i could play it in my windows media player or itunes or whatever now let's say I recorded an INF, which can only be played on the CMS software. And I already recorded some video in INF. And so click backup play, select the file. And it's just like searching on a regular search. Click the day of the month and the video will appear in the timeline below. Now I'm gonna show you how to adjust the bandwidth or the video quality of the camera. So right click on the camera screen and select remote setup and the setup window will appear and just make sure system is clicked and you'll see the video tab and here you can choose the resolution of the camera and you can select from QVGA, VGA or SIF. Also you can choose which type of format you want to be streaming video in MPEG-4 or MJPEG and the quality of the video from very high to just normal. And also you can adjust the frame rate of the camera. Now I'm going to show you how to set up two monitors with the CMS software. Uh, with the right video hardware, you can have up to four monitors. 
And first thing you need to do is go into your video settings and activate your second monitor uh, once you have it plugged in. And then we're going to open up the CMS software, click setup. And in the setup window, we need to click plugin. And here we can choose what we want showing on each monitor, whether we want to expand the live view, search, or have an EMAP set up. And once you have chosen what you want on each monitor, we need to save and close and restart the software. Now I'm going to show you how to connect using a web browser. First, we need to type in the IP address of the camera and then click connect. And you might need to disable pop-ups for the login window to appear. And we type in our ID and password. Uh, by default, it's root for both ID and password. And once we have the live video up, we can choose what type of streaming between JPEG or MPEG-4. And there's different functions at the bottom, record, stop, save, and capture. And we can also connect and disconnect. Now I'm going to show you how to update the firmware and get into the setup through the web browser. And we need to click the administrators page and allow the pop-up. And in the login, we need to type in the user ID and password. By default, it's admin for both the user ID and password. And then our setup page is showing. And then we need to click the firmware update on the left. And in that window, we need to click browse and find our firmware file. It's going to end in .tar and then click update. And then there will be a bar showing the progression of the update. It takes about five minutes to upgrade the firmware. And once the update is completed, we need to restart the camera. So we click restart and it'll take a couple minutes for the camera to reboot. And then after it's done, uh, you should see the new firmware version shown there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. And if you do have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call at 1-800-691-1034. Thank you.